Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today we are going to uh, handle a null reference exception in ASP.NET Core and uh, this is the null reference exception occurs uh, in ASP.NET Core uh, during some types of mistakes actually. So uh, here we have, uh, you know that, uh, that is the employee repository and employee repository with the get all methods. Here you can see that get all employees right there. So uh, employee repo dot get all employees. I mean to say that by using the employee repo. So here we have employee repo that is you know, this employee repo. So that is uh, actually implemented in uh, here. You can see that I employee repo. But you notice that uh, here I'm going to get that type of error message. Uh, so here we have a employees and we will get that system dot null reference exception system dot null reference exception i mean to say that object reference not set to instance an object i mean to say that object is not initialized in the memory so employee repo is null right here you can see that underscore employee repo is null because uh, you know that uh, here we have a constructor dependency injection so both private variable both private instance must initialize in the constructor so just uncomment that section and you notice that after uh, the dependency constructor dependency injection that employee repository is initialized with the employee repo okay after that that is initialized so that is in the memory so after that mm, that employee repo will call get all employees so first to uh, come with uh, come uh, in the memory then after we'll get all the employees so system dot null reference exception how to handle in esp.net core that is the video thank you very much for watching this after that you will see that your problem will be resolved easily and all the employees will get uh, on index page So here we have a local host that is and just to call with that employees. After calling the employees uh, action method, you will see that here we have employee list without any error. So your problem will be fixed. So you can just if you want to access any reference object that is that is the object if you want to get that object, object must be initialized in the constructor dependency injection right there. So thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET.